I am playing um, Jackie, 50 something, midlife crisis, husband leaving for a younger woman. She's packing up the house, finds all the memorabilia from her youth. What has happened to my life? That's Jackie, my Jackie. Um, and in asking herself that question, she answers it through going back through her old comics um, and what answers lie there, what answers lie in her young son who is a budding musician, um, her best friend, can she help? Um, what is she going to do? Um, and it's really a, a lady looking back on her life um, and loving looking back. I think everyone of my age was a Jackie girl. It was the posters, it was your way of finding your time um, and being a part of something that wasn't your parents. Um, so it was, it was finding that teenage, uh, that kind of teenage buzz. That was the way we did it. The, the glamour of it um, and of course the, the continual question about boys. You just wanted to talk all the time about boys. Um, when would I get a boyfriend? What would I do when I got one? Um, what were you allowed to do? What were you not allowed to do? And the best thing about Jackie as well was I remember it was, it was actually really ahead of its time because it would say, what do you feel comfortable with? And that was a revelation because you thought, well, surely I can't just be me. Jackie was the extension of your diary because it all went on in here. And I mean, now it's Facebook and everybody talks to everybody else. Um, it was nothing private, uh, but your diary was private and Jackie was private. You'd, you'd kind of sit in the loo and read it. So were your teenage years happy years? Oh, angst, full of angst. I mean, in my diaries, it would be, um, this is the end of my you know, year 14 years old. I really hope I will be as happy for the rest of my life. Um, but I haven't yet been out with Andy Barons. Andy, what happened? Um, so yeah, it was, it was, you were up one minute and down the next. You loved everything and you hated everything. Um, so it was, looking back on it, it was the best time. But it, it, when you're in that time, you just, you know, you kind of, you just swing from highs to lows. And... It was really just writing to every blessed theatre I, I, could, I could think of. I wrote to Alan Aitborn from the age of 16, actually. I used to just write to him because he was, I didn't really know what he did, but I knew he had a theatre in, in near where I lived in Leeds in, and he was in Scarborough. Um, and he was one of the first people to employ me, um, which was amazing. It was a fantastic person to work for. Um, very privileged to work for him. So yeah, it was it was um, it was just writing to people and getting. I mean, I used to I used to, I remember phone writing to Richard Eyre and saying, "Shall we meet for a coffee?" <laughs> um, I, God knows where you get the confidence from. Yeah. Elaine um, and we were. It was kind of in the eighties because it was late eighties and it was co we were a cohabiting couple, which then was which was you know quite. We weren't married and living together, which was the big thing. In the thing. 70s wouldn't have yes. happened. No, it was, it was very it, kind of in. So yeah, that was my, kind of my, not my first TV role, but it was the, it really took off. Um, and I'd, I'd done a lot of musicals and theatre before then. Um, but that was my first big TV role, working with Nick. Um, was it fun working with him? Oh, well, he's, he's the royal family of, of, you know, television comedy wasn't Thors and Horses, so I was had a huge crush on him. I didn't realise at the time, and it was only years later I thought, I wish I really liked, I really fancied him. I had a huge crush on him. He was such a nice, nice person to work with, um, and and fun too. He was great with a live audience. I was busy, kind of being very nervous and trying to kind of get myself calm, and he would just be playing to the audience. Um, and he loved it. He was just, he, he was very clever. He was very clever. He knew what he was doing and he was charming. Um, and he would always, um, he'd play jokes. Um, I think one they actually filmed because it, in, a, in a scene we did together, he had to come and bring me uh, uh, some flowers or a, 
and, or a present, and I opened it, it was a cactus, and it was a huge phallic <laughs> cactus. So that was the big joke. It was like, yeah, we'd yeah, make, make, make fun of me and, and everybody enjoying the joke. Um, so he was he's always practical jokes. When we think about the 70s, there's the fashion, and there's the music. I mean, in terms yeah. of fashion, what, what were you wearing in the 70s? Can you remember? Um, I know my mum made most of our clothes, which was a drag at the time, but now I think of it, I think it was pretty amazing with three, three girls. So she always dressed us the same. We were, my older sister got, got the worst of it, really, because she was big and tall, and we were kind of cute and small, but we all wore the same clothes. And she used to make us a lot of cheesecloth. Um, uh, with kind those of sleeves, tops, yeah. yeah, with the puffy old sleeves, mm. hot pants mm. I had, and long socks mm. I had, uh, stripy long socks, I remember. Platform boots? Platform boots, ones that you could kind of, like socks, mm. you know, that you could kind of pull up almost, they were kind of shiny plastic boots. But do you remember walking in platform boots? Because it was, it was quite difficult. Yes, yes. Um, I had a yellow pair. I remember that my mum was really cross about, but I wore home from the shop because I thought that way I can't take them back. She won't, she won't let me take them back. I can't. I've got to wear them though. I've got to keep them yellow platform. My sister and I used to to fight over those posters. Um, quite physical fights actually because she would get to them first. Mark Bolan was a, was a was a huge huge uh, fan of Mark Bolan. Um, Did you have a crush on him? Uh, I had a crush on everybody, on everybody, but the music of Mark Bolan was, was something else. So what are you looking forward to about, about Jackie the Musical? Do you know what? Having fun. Having fun. Um, I've chased and chased the intensity of drama for so long. Um, and this has, this, this, not that this doesn't have the intensity of drama, it has a heart that touches you. I mean, I cried when I read it. Um, with, with, with the honesty of it, but it's the fun. I just thought, I'm, I want to have fun. I want to sing those songs. I want to dance those songs. Um, you know, I can remember the 70s moves. I can do that. I can be there. Um, so that's, that's the thing I, I really want to do, is just have fun.